Ah, we are back to the scarf days. Um, today is April the 9th, Monday, April the 9th, 2018. And I'm on my way to look. Oh, let's see, look, it's so ashy. Well, I mean, it's not my intention. I guess I need to find some lip stuff. I got like a million tubes of this lip stuff and I still never have it when I need it, so. Um, but anyway, today is okay. My reflux is messing with me a little bit back then in the back of my throat. Um, I feel like a more acid stuff going on this time rather than just like the regular, you know, cloggy feeling. I think that it might be because, you know, I mean, I, I took my medicine at the correct time yesterday. I just think that I wasn't leaving enough time in between and or, um, you know, I'm overeating certain things that I should not be eating that I know will attribute to it because it's okay to eat a little bit, but God dog, I mean, if you go back and have like seconds or thirds or something, you know, you ain't supposed to have, yeah, it causes an issue. So it might be that that's the issue. Like that's, that's seriously the issue. It just might be that. So, um, this week will be the week that I actually go back to my regular diet because I'm not going to be getting my Nexium anymore. Um, even though the prescription <laughs> Walgreens like your prescription is due now I'm like well we won't be doing it we're gonna go this week without um, I guess I got one or two more Nexium pills left and so from that point whenever I do use all of them I will go a full week just to see how my system has done now with things that are okay for me to eat so and by okay I mean like <laughs> I don't know if this is sickness or if this is just, I don't know, acid reflux, but anyway. So yeah, like, I wanna see in this week's time, if I just, you know, if I did the diet that I was doing before, which was a lot of, I mean, it was grain heavy uh, for fiber, just so that it could absorb the acid. I was chewing my food super carefully, or not carefully, but just a lot to make sure that, you know, my saliva enzymes that help to break it down before it has to go down any further. And that way when it makes it to the stomach, you know, it's already a lot more digested than what I would regularly do is like chew two times and swallow. So, um, and then yesterday I had ginger, which I, I don't really like ginger like this. So I heard that's supposed to be helpful though, but I had ginger pork burgers weren't too crazy about the ginger or the pork together you know by themselves i'm sure they would have been good but the ginger and pork just don't they just don't mix they don't so yeah i um well sir oh my gosh so yeah anyway um i just something's going on this morning unfortunately and i'm trying to think back like that was the last thing i ate i think I ate it super fast though, I will say that. So maybe it's just that pork and the food and the meat, maybe the food that I had that I chose to eat was just um, the type of food that was just hard to break down. And I did follow that up with some alkaline water. Now the, the issue with the alkaline water is that if you drink a lot of it, it's going to, it's gonna work towards neutralizing your stomach acid. Um, because it's alkaline water and I'm drinking like a pH of 10, not like a 7.7 .7 or an eight, it's a 10. So um, I drank that and then also too, let me not lie, I ate a whole, I probably ate about, I'm betting at least 15, 15 of those jumbo size Sour Patch Kids and I felt sick yesterday after I ate them and then not shortly after I ate them, I decided to say, hmm, well, let me go ahead and just eat these pork burgers with this ginger, with the fries that went with it. So I like overloaded my digestive system. I was not even really hungry because I, I had eaten, you know, Pringles with those Sour Patch Kids. And I probably shouldn't have done that, but I over, I way over ate those uh, Sour Patch Kids. I know I did, and so I was sick from that. And so I'm thinking like it might've been the candy um, as a matter of fact, I know it was the candy that first of all, super acidic because it's Sour Patch. Second of all, I ate so much of something that I know is going to have difficulty being broken down into my digestive system because Sour Patch Kids, 
if I bet if I read that label I would see a bunch of corn syrup stuff I would probably see high fructose corn syrup on there and all of those different things do not break down in your body very well or quickly because your body does not recognize them that well um, and they store them as fat but you know if I want to grow my little hips back out again and my baduda back out again that's gonna be helpful but if I ain't trying to do that it's more irritating a little bit because now it's still settling sitting in my stomach and then on top of that my silly self decided to say oh, okay well we're gonna go and decide to eat another meal behind that so yeah I'm probably still feeling the effects of what I did yesterday so I can't lie and say I don't know what I ate I know what I ate it cost it um so yeah we just can't never do that again because I'm suffering this morning it's probably been this I've never I mean I haven't been this rough but what I'm feeling in a while <coughs> and it feels like a mild chest cold so I may take some um take one of my little allergy pills just to be sure it's not that but more than likely because my stomach is still sour like it just feels ugh, in my stomach right now and that's because my silly self chose to overdo what I did yesterday with those Sour Patch Kids. I probably could have got away with two or three of them fine, but I just went totally ballistic yesterday with how many I ate. So I just have to learn some self-control when it comes to sugar stuff. It was That was just borderline ridiculous what I did and what I chose to do. So yeah, going to school with a sick tummy this morning. Sounding more like a man because I, my throat feels weird. So, but anyway, um, this talent show stuff to finish up on you know this morning i've been thinking about like just some personal things that have been going on and addressing them and just some personal things about the past that have happened has happened to me and how i'm adjusting to or trying to deal with what happened in, in, a, in a healthy way to move on with my life past it um, so, you know, and I've been, I read a scripture this morning or the scripture from Revelation about God is, I am the Alpha and Omega, you know, beginning and the end. The God who is, was, and always will be, you know, and that really is speaking to me in the sense that, you know, what happened was wrong, but it does not mean that my God is not still sovereign and that he can't deliver me from the pain of what happened I feel like I've gotten better but again he can deliver me from that because he is the alpha he is the omega he is the beginning and the end he is the one who is was and will always be and just saying those words just make me get strength to say I can walk through this and I'll be okay so just definitely gonna be praying about that the direction on that um for some reason, my eyes are swollen this morning. I was not crying or anything, so I'm attributing it to the fact that I wore eyeliner yesterday to church. And it was beginning to itch, so my silly self rubbed it instead of going to take it off with makeup remover, which when it started, I wasn't around any makeup remover anyway. Um, I was at church when it started to itch, and then I got home, and I could have wiped it off with that, but instead of doing that, I just decided to say, Oh, well, let me just use my finger and smudge it into my eye. So, yeah, my eyes are suffering this morning because of that crazy decision. Oh, I got some eye drops, though. I'll try those out to see if that'll be helpful with it. But it stinks because it, my eyes are swollen this morning. Ridiculousness. Um, all right. So I'm about to get myself about this card and go on with my day, but I just wanted to share that because I know that, you know, when I look back at this video, I'm going to be praying that, you know, different decisions would have been made and um, different prayers would have been answered. And, you know, I just want to use this as a, as a testimony to be able to say, look at how God can move and look at how he works. And I know that being able to see this again is going to be helpful to see just how far he's brought me from. Um, I suppose I could just do a prayer journal, huh? Um, and be more in-depth with the personal things. But, you know, there's nothing like physically seeing yourself and where you were to where you have become and how you have evolved. So, yeah. All right, well, 
Adiós.